All right, people, welcome back to Total OS Today. So, we are looking at Windows 10 Technical Preview Beta. Brand new, just downloaded this today, trying this inside a virtual machine. Before we begin, what happened to Windows 8 or 8.1? Well, some of you might recall that my first look at Windows 8, I was impressed. I liked it. I thought it looked cool. It was certainly different than anything I had seen before from Microsoft. And I thought that Windows 8 would succeed if they were to implement something that was missing. The traditional start button, or more specifically, the start menu. If they would have implemented that, I thought that Windows 8 would have been, would have been a complete new system. They chose not to do that. In Windows 8.1, we got a start button, but not really a start menu there was still something missing. Now, from a technical standpoint, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 runs fine. I have Windows 8.1. It runs faster than Windows 7. It runs pretty good as far as gaming. In fact, it runs pretty good as far as anything else I run in Windows 8.1. No bugs that I could see, no blue screens, no crashes, no freeze up. I like what I have in Windows 8.1. But the problem is most consumers don't like to be jolted into something new or something that is totally unfamiliar. Most consumers have a uh, comfort zone, a comfort factor that is pre-embedded or pre-installed in a consumer's mind when they go out to buy something new. Without that start menu, but for me, for me, it was not that big of a deal. But for consumers, without that comfort zone or comfort app, if you want to call it a comfort app, without that start menu, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 just was not as successful as it was really meant to be. So now we have Windows 10. Is this any better? The start menu is back, but does anybody care? Well, let's find out. All right, I am running this in full screen mode. I cannot get the proper uh, resolution because this is brand new. The VirtualBox uh, guest editions cannot be installed to run this in a proper resolution. However, it does seem to work okay. So let's take a look at this and see what we have. Now, I will not go into the technicality of this. I will not go into all the features of this. So this is what I'm going to do. Let's pretend that this is brand new. It's not beta. Somebody just bought this. Is this going to be comfortable for the masses, for the consumer? Let's find out and see what we have. This is the default desktop here. I like that there is a shortcut that says, Welcome to the Technical Preview. All right, let's right click. And we have the usual shortcuts here screen resolution once again because I don't I cannot install the virtual box guest editions the proper resolution I don't have it at least not yet but I'm sure once this is all updated virtual box is updated it'll be fine coming in the future all right personalize again if you ran Windows 7 or Windows 8 nothing really new or out of the ordinary here so let's keep on going all right the traditional taskbar at the bottom. You can lock it or unlock it. Task manager. All right, I'm sure you guys have seen this before. So there we go. Performance, app history, startup, users, details, and so on and so forth. All right, so far so good. Of course, you have the usual icons here. Sound mixer. All right, pretty much self-explanatory. So far, so good. Now, the big news here is obviously the inclusion of the Start menu. This is a hybrid of something old and something new. The Start menu is a hybrid of the traditional Start menu of what you may have seen in Windows Vista. And certainly, you know, Windows 7, they have included the tiles. The Metro apps, I think they would, these were once called the modern look, whatever they were called, they have included this as a hybrid start menu. 
My first look at this, I thought, it's different. It's something new. Does it work? I believe it does. It's not it's not quite as a jolt for consumers as Windows 8 was, you know, with the full screen apps all over the um, well, all over the screen. It was optimized for touch screen. It's doable on the desktop Windows 8.1, but more touch more customized for touch that is. And in Windows 10, this appears to be functioning quite well, actually. Now these tiles here, you can move these around as you can in Windows 8, I guess you can expand this, so on and so forth, as you see here. Let's go to All Apps, and if we right-click this, Pin to Start. Well, there you go. Again, you can move these around. Let's go to the store real quick and see what it looks like. Okay, well, so far, navigation for a beginner, if someone was a beginner to this, so far, so good. I don't see anything out of the ordinary or, or anything that would be unfriendly, as it were. Okay, if we go back here, we can get back to the start menu. Let's see, right-click will give you different shortcuts here, programs and features, power options. Let's go ahead and click that real quick. All right, customize a power plan. I'm not seeing any glitches here so far. Again, running this inside a virtual, a virtual box is not the most ideal environment. In fact, I believe that Microsoft recommends that you do this on a full install on a test machine. All right, let's keep on going here. So we have all apps. Okay, you can scroll up and down. Nice. We have a search function here or a search tab rather, and a search function here. So for example, oh, let's see, music. Let's see what happens. Okay, now this is brand new. I don't really have anything, uh, any music installed in this, but this will get you to the uh, music app. Welcome to Xbox Music Collection radio <laughs> I do like the fact that it says uh, to collection it's lonely in here why not add some music why not I will not be doing that now alright you have a search function here so so far so good okay add a desktop okay multiple desktop now this is something that you've seen in Linux so you know once again for those of you who run Linux like myself this is certainly nothing new I don't know how many desktops you can add. I think I'll stop at four. And you can X out. Okay, so so far so good. It seems to be running all right. All right, let's go back to the start menu again. Let's go to PC settings and see what this looks like. Okay, PC and devices. User accounts we saw. This is the back button here, of course. Search and apps. Clear search history. Share. Uh, notifications. On off, stuff like that. App sizes. All right, you have 15.5 gigabyte of space available on your PC if you want to uninstall an app. Select it from the list and then tap or click uninstall. Okay. Well, there you go. Uninstall if you so choose to. Uninstall music. Defaults. Default apps. All right, so far so good. Really, running this inside a virtual box uh, without the proper resolution, it's running pretty stable. I was expecting a lot more freeze ups, glitches, bugs. Uh, all I can tell you is so far I am impressed at least with the stability of the machine. Now, once again, do not install this on your regular PC. If you have a test machine, go right ahead. This, I'm sure this has bugs, problems somewhere. All right, just a couple more things here. Again, we took a look at this. 
I'm not sure. I'm assuming this can expand all the way to the end of your desktop if you were to add, you know, more tiles to this. So, Windows System, Help and Support. I just pinned that to the start. Yeah, I, I believe that this hybrid start menu, as you see here, between the traditional start button menu and the tile apps, I think this works pretty good. Uh, this is a nice compromise, if you will, between Windows 7 and Windows 8. I don't see anyone really getting uncomfortable with the setup, as you see here. Now, there are more features to this. I won't go into everything. This is just a quick... Uh, test is the uh, options here to cascade windows, stack windows, and there are some other uh, features too. So I think what I'll do, I think I will leave this test for now the way it is. What are my conclusions to this? So far I like it. Uh, it appears to be stable inside a virtual box. In terms of is this an improvement over Windows uh, 8 or 8.1? Well, for many consumers who simply did not like in Windows what they saw in Windows 8 or 8.1 and were too uncomfortable, this is probably the best compromise that Microsoft can do to help, you know, appease all the consumers out there who wanted to upgrade from Windows 7, but just, well, they were just shocked, jolted, uh, rendered uncomfortable by what they saw in Windows 8 or 8.1. I do believe this... Windows 10 will be successful. It has everything you need. I can't really say that this does not have or it's missing the start menu as it was in Windows 8. So I believe so far, so far that this would be successful when this comes out, I believe, at the end of 2015. Well, I think what I'll do now, I will end this here. I will do some more testing with this, uh, try to get a long-term feel for this and see how well this works. I may change my mind, but so far, as far as Windows 10 technical preview, I must say I am impressed. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.